Hey, how's it going? Um, thought I'd just do a quick update of my tank. Like before, I just haven't really touched it. Um, recently, I scraped the front glass so we can look in. So uh, I figured I'd just shoot a video to show what kind of state it's in right now. While it was really dirty, things are still pretty healthy. Again, it's like the less I mess with it, the healthier things get and it kind of stabilizes. So let's take a look. We got the yellow tang here, still doing really well. The black and white clowns. One is distinctly bigger than the other one, so looks like we got a pair. Royal Grandma, alive and well, really active. Cardinal Fish. I had two, uh, I think is it four or five months ago, but recently I noticed one of them disappeared. I'm not quite sure what happened to him. Either passed away, found an enemy, or jumped out and my dog ate him. Not sure. But uh, eating like a pig, doing great. Not sure if I add another one. We'll see. Coral wise, things are doing well. Um, Rose and Anatomy still got three of them. Two up there, two smaller ones up there, and a big one. The big one I should roam for a little bit. I thought it was going to split, but now I just kind of roam back in place. Frog spawn. I feel like they grew a little bit, but then I've been seeing the I've been seeing the tank every day, so can't really tell anymore. But um, I just split the frog spawn a little bit, so I got some here now. So three pieces. Toadstool definitely got bigger. Even though I see the tank every day, I can I can tell that this, this definitely got bigger. That's a modern colony. This was a frag. Mushroom holding steady, green tree seems to have spread a little bit, not too much, but definitely spread a little bit. Green star polyp. Not sure if I have this piece the last in the last video. Picked it up from a local reaver, great guy, hooked it up. This new patch is definitely um, brighter than my old one, so we'll see how it goes. The Ricordia re receded a little bit because this frog spawn actually fell on that. So it got stung and now it's recovering. I think it's been maybe a week, week and a half. Chalice got big. Uh, you can see the edge is kind of folding up and growing. And in the back, the blue sponge disappeared for a little bit, but making it come back. Same with the blue snowflake. This piece I picked up, I think, two months ago. It's the Superman. Got it at a really great price from Reefer. I think it might be in the in the last video. I had to move it from from up here down on the sand bed because an enemy roamed and they kind of erosing on that place. So I have to move them real quick. So I'm trying to find a new spot for this. Gorgonian actually making a comeback. It was uh, it, I had some algae growing on it. Did some water change, blew it away, and it's it's doing well now. In the back, if I cannot see it, there's a staghorn hermit that I picked up, I think, over the new year, and it's doing well, it's doing well. The staghorn is kind of holding on to. This right here, the lords, the red one up front, it receded twice because it got flipped over, probably by snails or hermits, and then whenever it flipped it back, it just kind of regrew really fast. So I feel like if I did not let it flip, get flipped over that two times, it would be a lot bigger, but hey, you know. Candy cane doing well, it's growing into the semi semisphere. Mushroom holding steady. Now one issue I have, it's um, the red cyanobacteria on the same bed. And um, some green algae on the back wall. Actually green algae is not that bad, it, it did not really grow, it just, I just have not scraped them off. So green algae is actually holding steady. But the uh, red slime algae, well, I mean, I call it algae, but it's actually bacteria, that has been coming back. I mean, it's not too bad. And um, in a lot of tank, they do have it. But because there's so many things that can cause it, I can't really narrow it down. Um, different things that cause it would be if you have too much nutrient in the water, meaning you feed too much or you have too many fish. Um, if you have really low oxygen level in the water, all right, that causes it as well. And also, if your water flow is not enough, that would also cause a buildup of the red slime. 
Now it's hard to pinpoint what it is. Maybe it's like uh, multiple vectors. Um, so I don't know. Well, one thing I'm gonna try is that it's been a while since I cleaned the Voltec. I think it's 45 MP. <laughs> Man, it's been a while. And the power definitely decreased. So maybe the water flow got a little bit lower. What people say I can do is uh, put in vinegar solution to kind of just like get rid of the calcium deposit. So I'll do that. That should increase the water flow. Uh, feeding wise, I cut back slightly. I mean, I don't, I can't really cut back too much because of um, the fish I have. So hopefully they'll help us well, and we'll see long term. I guess the one thing that worked against me is that I do not have a sump, so I cannot really put like a skimmer. And also, if you look in the back, rookie mistake. I didn't think I'll set up a tank and keep it long term here in the new house, so that's why I didn't. I just, I just set one, set the tank up for fun. I didn't leave any room in the back. So I cannot even do a hang on the back uh, refugium where I can hang a skimmer. So essentially I have one big fishbowl with um, Wartech pushing water. So I, but I just gotta deal with it and make things work. So far it's going decent. I think it's going decent. Um, I haven't been putting too much time into it. But things seem healthy. I'm really glad. And I guess I'll make another update video later on. I do plan to maybe tweak the aquascape a little bit, clean up the sand bed, maybe add some new sand, cause uh, I guess like, been a while since I added sand. Each time I do a water change, I take some sand out. Oh, there's an urchint. Urchin's doing well, definitely got bigger. Yep, so that's pretty much it. Just um, intermediate updates, nothing too major. Things, uh, things are happy except for the cardinal fish that died, rest in peace. Well then, until next time, gotta feed this guy. Yeah? All right.